According to The Hollywood Reporter, Disney has picked up a spec script on a live-action Prince Charming movie. According to the trade, a Prince Charming film is still far from a sure thing, as Disney is currently working on two other live-action adaptations, An Alice Through the Looking Glass, due out in 2016, and Bill, Cond- Bill Condon's 2017 reimagining of Beauty and the Beast, starring Emma Watson and Dan Stevens. Christian Byers sell that Disney will actually make a live-action Prince Charming movie. I'm going to sell that they're going to make a Prince Charming movie, although I, I would like to see the King of the North do it because um, <laughs> uh, I thought he was really good and I thought that their chemistry worked and he's one of the main reasons I think that movie worked overall. So, But I, I don't know. I think with all the other movies that they could do and now that we know that Sofia Coppola is not doing The Little Mermaid for whoever she was doing it for, that maybe they could actually do The Little Mermaid and then they're going to be working on um, Mulan and there's a few other things that I think happened before they... They hit, I know that Cinderella was a huge hit, so it might make sense to spin off. But I, I think focus on your other properties because, I mean, what are they going to – if they do, I hope it's more than him going, I don't know, well, my dad gave me a brand new horse. You know, it's like, it's like what, what are they going to do? What are they doing with this that's guy? Your, that's your opener as a Prince Charming one? That's it. That's it. My dad bought me a new horse. What you I want met some girl in the woods. It's like, what else does that guy do? He doesn't fight. Well, at least we don't know he does. He can fence. Prince Charming can fence occasionally. Sounds and exciting. Look, th- this is the thing. You always have. I'm I'm sick of of just like little girls getting to watch their heroes grow. <laughs> How about a little boy out there who wants to see Prince Charming? You know, he wants to see some rich kid who's never had to really work in his life <laughs> ride, ride a <laughs> horse through <laughs> town. <laughs> just be a creep. Hey, put your foot in this glass slipper. Let me let me right. see. Oh yeah, that's right. Turns nice. out he's always wanted to do it. He just <laughs> pretend. He finally he finally was able to bottle it up at the end. Yeah. <laughs> but th- th- there's never been just. I buy this because. Because there's never been just a like Prince Charming standalone story that Disney's done. Prince Charming has popped in in various incarnations into Disney fairy tales. Disney can't keep relying on just okay. Now we're going to do the live action Little Mermaid. Now we're going to do the live action Mulan. Hey, do we have Why any not? other cartoons we can make live action? It is, but you should also try to do something new and original. You're right. Richard Madden should be the guy because he was great in Cinderella. We can get Richard Madden or anybody else who's pretty good looking. They're going to knock this role out of the park. It's the right move. Prince Charming and Aunt May. The best thing about the slippers is that I can always see your feet. Um, <laughs> something wrong about that. Oh, um, I, I am. Uh, I'm actually going to side with you on this one. I, I think. Look, Prince Charming is a character that you're right has several incarnations. Has popped up across fairy tales now and again, and used used in many different ways. And I think that means it, the doors would be open to do a lot of different types of stories with this character. And I think there's some pretty cool things you can do with the incarnation that we saw in Cinderella. And I agree. I thought that was actually a really good incarnation. I thought the chemistry between the characters was great. He was very noble, yet frail at the same time. A lot of cool things. But I just think that the possibilities that exist, when you start the page with, we're going to do Maleficent, you're a little bit limited on what you can do. And when they took too many liberties, I think it it kind of ruined the story Mm -hmm. for me. But with the Prince Charming, you can almost do anything. You can create any new story you want within that fantastical world and make him be whatever you want him to be. So I think just the fact that it's got such great possibilities is why for me I'm going to buy it. 